Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. So now, we all know Meghan has been marketing herself as this powerful voice for mixed-race women ever since she hit the scene as Prince Harry's cool and culturally aware ba, right? Girl was out here acting like the veritable face of the modern biracial experience. She had the whole world relating to her struggle of navigating two different ethnic identities and finding empowerment in embracing both. Very inspirational, very on-brand for the Duchess of Wokeness. But see... Here's the catch fam. Homegirl tried to pull a slick one on all of us from the very start, because according to none other than Aaron Korch himself, the suit's mastermind who gave Megan her big break on TV, she actually identified as straight-up Caucasian for most of her pre-royal career. That's right, y'all. Let that reality wash over you. While Megan was out here on the Hollywood hustle grinding away as Rachel Zane, she was listing her race as simply white on all her production paperwork and acting CVs. There was zero mention of her black heritage from her mom's side. She was keeping that biracial identity very much under wraps. It wasn't until the big leagues came calling in the form of Prince Harry that Miss Markle suddenly got very in touch with her ethnic background, if you know what I mean. Girlfriend saw an angle to market herself as a historical first biracial princess and leaned into it hard for those sweet relatable points. But her own creator is exposing the truth. This chick was straight up pretending to be white for years before cashing in on the struggles of mixed people. Can you even imagine the sheer arrogance and cultural appropriation at play here? Megan really thought she could switch her racial identity on and off like it was an outfit based on whatever looked best to promote her personal brand. She was deadass out here lying about being Caucasian to get acting roles, then suddenly started preaching about diversifying the royal family once fame came knocking. How two-faced can you get? This suit storm has ripped the woke mask clean off Megan's whole public persona. You know she's been riding high on this hole, I had to find my voice as a biracial woman in an antiquated white institution, shittick, to justify acting brand new after Megxit. But it turns out she was straight up denying her own ethnicity right up until it became convenient for her activism-driven fame. That's a big old case of lying by omission if you ask me. And the worst part, this is just the latest example of Megan exposing herself as an identity con artist who will shamelessly pander to whatever group she's trying to cash in on at the moment. What other aspects of her self-professed authenticity as a woman of color have been phony AF all along? We already knew Megan was utterly full of it when it came to claiming she never researched the royal family before marrying in, based on her own statements resurfacing from way back when she was just a hungry showbiz up-and-comer. Now it's clear her entire origin story about staying true to her ethnic identity throughout her rise to fame was a work of fiction too. Between this bombshell about denying her black heritage and the revelations that she grossly lied and exploited her estranged family members for her own pity party Oprah interview, Megan's United Nations of crap seems to grow by the day. At this point, what part of her sold persona can any of us actually believe to be authentic? There's no way her supposedly saintly, socially conscious, tell it like it, is brand identity can recover from this amount of truth coming out about what a fake opportunist she's been all along. Girlfriend duped millions into thinking she was a brave biracial hero shattering glass ceilings when all she did was check whatever ethnicity box helped her acting career most at any given time. So I gotta ask, why should anyone keep buying what Megan's selling about herself and her motivations at this point? It's all been unraveled as one cynical grift atop another. This new wave of receipts is just the latest confirmation that nothing from her is ever as innocent or authentic as it seems on the surface. Whether it's cashing in on black girl struggles after openly rejecting them for most of her career, or pretending to be an authority figure for women while secretly trashing other females behind their backs, Megan constantly contradicts every front she puts up for public consumption. Her words never line up with her actions, period. In my opinion, it's time we all collectively stop falling for her overly practiced and perpetually calculating ways. Megan is, and always has been chasing paper and headlines above all else. Her real allegiances lie only to herself and the brand she's built an entire empire out of methodically deceiving the world about. 
For every stunning claim about overcoming racial adversity she makes in her Spotify Oscar bait audio series, remember, she couldn't have cared less about presenting as a biracial role model when it didn't serve her interests. For every book she writes teaching modern girls how to find their voice, keep in mind she was silencing and disgracing her own family matriarchs for sport. This is a woman who switches masks as often as most of us change outfits. So in my humble opinion, as an unapologetic truth-slinger, there's only one thing we can trust from Meghan Markle at this point, that lying, hypocrisy, and relentless self-serving hustle is always going to be her one true authentic identity. The rest is just a mirage of symbols and buzzwords calculated to manipulate the culture for more clicks, streams, and cold hard cash. Don't get it twisted. She tried to finesse the world into believing the mixed girl from Cali made good fairy tale because she knew it would print money and social media gold. But her own lies about faking Caucasian on those old roles have fully exposed the fraudulent game she's really been running since way before Buckingham. So to all Meghan's diehard Sussex squad, stands who somehow still believe anything she publicly sells about herself, wake up and smell the deception already. Your queen's been clocking you all along, pivoting to a new made-up ethnic identity whenever it provided her, and then ditching it just as fast whenever it didn't. She embodies everything she claims to stand against, an insincere, conscienceless user of marginalized struggles for nothing but personal gain. Do yourselves a favor and disengage from this serial con artist fantasy worlds built on a foundation of contradictions and deceit. This is the real her. The mask is fully off. The lies are documented. Hold this overseller of empty inspirational platitudes accountable for once instead of letting her get away with such grotesque, offensive hypocrisy. Judge her reality not by her words and stunts, but by her repeated patterns of actions undermining the very identities and principles she swears allegiance to. At this point, Meghan Markle is little more than the pretty face on the modern 21 saint century snake oil hustle hawking false affirmations of empowerment and diversity while living the complete opposite behind closed doors. So congrats to Erin Korsh for exposing exactly what an absolute fraud this chick has been playing since day one of her rise to stardom. His truth blast has officially secured Meghan's real legacy, not as a brave voice for the underrepresented, but as the puppet master behind what may be the biggest grift in pop culture history. I don't know whether to be disgusted or just bow down to such an incredible level of scam artistry. So what do you guys think about this news guys? Sounds off in the comment and let me know what you think. Stay tuned for more updates on the intriguing world of royalty. Until then thanks for watching, we'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family thank you.